your TV will no longer just be a TV. Last year, we've seen Realme broaden its horizons from not only offering quite a lineup of smartphones throughout the year, but also through its AI OT offerings. 2020 was also the year the company was recognized as the number one smartphone brand in the Philippines, so it only makes sense to further reinforce its presence in the country. This year, the company is headed straight to smart homes with the same idea of bringing the latest tech at affordable price points. Hey guys, Kevin here, you're with The Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. For this review, we'll be taking a closer look at the Realme Smart TV. Should you buy it? Subscribe and let's find out. What we have here is the 43-inch variant with Full HD resolution. There are only two variants available right now with the other being a smaller 32-inch model with HD resolution. Realme says it's positioning the 32-inch variant as more for those living in smaller spaces like condos while the bigger 43-inch model could be used in living rooms or as digital boards in small businesses. The package comes with its own plastic stand. They're a bit wobbly at first but really tighten the screws underneath and you'll get them to be stable. Of course, it's preferable to have a more solid stand, but the included plastic ones feel sturdy enough. And besides, the TV itself is not that heavy, so using the included stands, although plastic, still feels like it could easily support its weight. And if you prefer hanging it on a wall, that's also possible and the Realme TV is compatible with the standard VESA bracket. In terms of design, it does look up to date with its thin bezels measuring at only 8.7 millimeters. At the back, we have a series of ports for connectivity, including three HDMI ports, two USB, SPDIF, a digital TV port, and Ethernet port. For audio, there are two sets of speakers at the bottom consisting of one full range speaker and one tweeter each. These have a total power of 24 watts, which Realme says is more powerful when compared to its competitors. But we'll get to audio quality in just a bit. The included remote control comes with dedicated buttons for Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and even access to Google Assistant. So those are just one click of a button away at all times. Being a smart TV, it does come with a number of features and is mainly the selling point of this product. It has a built-in Chromecast and brings all the features that go along with it, like casting photos or videos from your phone to the TV. And one of our most used features on this thing is its Google Assistant. Again, it works just like it does on an Android smartphone. Just press the dedicated Google Assistant button on the remote and you can give commands to your TV by using the remote control as a mic. With this feature alone, your TV now acts as a central hub if you have a smart home setup. We actually have a couple of smart lights installed here at home so now we can control the color, the color intensity, and the brightness straight from the TV. Really useful. Change lights to red. Alright, changing 7 lights to red. And as established earlier, it also comes with pre-installed apps popular for smart TVs. You can easily connect to platforms like Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and Live Channel. Third-party videos, music platforms, movies, and even games can also be downloaded through the Play Store. Just make sure you have Bluetooth-enabled game controllers. So yep, that means it has Bluetooth connectivity for like wireless speakers and game controllers, as well as Wi-Fi at 2.4 GHz. The Realme TV runs on Android TV OS based on Android 9. And just like Android's user experience on smartphones, layout is both easy on the eyes and simple to navigate through. There are a lot of apps to choose from, which we like, since it gives you a way to personalize your TV. Some of our personal picks are Hue Essentials for our lights, Spotify of course, and Live Gallery for keeping the TV on in the background. And in terms of picture quality, the Realme TV boasts the company's Chroma Boost technology that we've seen in their smartphones to enhance overall clarity, contrast, and color for improved overall visuals. The TV also supports HDR10 for brighter images and more realistic picture quality. On top of this, you can also choose between different display modes depending on your preference and the content you're viewing. Inside, the Realme TV runs on a MediaTek quad-core processor partnered with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of storage. This combination resulted in decent performance and speed when navigating through the menu and jumping in and out of apps. For image quality, we really like how the Realme TV produces bright images which works well especially when in bright rooms. Details are impressive and watching HD movies on Netflix shows good picture quality. There are some noticeable artifacts and color renderings that are not that smooth but they're not big issues and some wouldn't even notice them. Its Chrome Boost engine effectively made sure colors were punchy but they don't go overboard. 
The display also has good viewing angles so you can sit in more areas and still enjoy good picture quality. As for its audio, we appreciate the 24 watt speakers that do go loud. We also see the implementation of having Dolby Audio Solution to ensure more vivid audio. But of course, they still wouldn't replace dedicated speakers, especially if you're the kind of person who really wants to get immersed when watching movies. While these do make the quad speakers decent enough for normal viewing, turning them all the way up will produce distortion, so it's best to keep the volume in check. And as always in our reviews, the modern creatures aims to find special features in devices that would make them worth having. Something that would give a certain product an edge from its competition. And for the Realme Smart TV, it would definitely have to be its built-in Google Assistant. This feature alone can not only bring you quick facts or show you the latest films, but it also turns your TV into a hub for your smart home. And with today's accessibility to affordable smart products, a smart TV such as this one is a great addition to have. Realme has been known to bring premium features to more people and the new Realme TV is no exception. It's able to offer not just entertainment but also functionality for everyday use. This is also a great choice if you want to start your smart home setup since you'll get a feel for having a digital assistant around. The Realme TV starts at 11,990 pesos for the 32-inch model and 18,990 pesos for the 43-inch variant. There will be an exclusive 3,000 peso off for Shopee's 3.3 sale as well as a free Realme soundbar for every purchase. More details on the description below. And that's about it for our Realme Smart TV review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.